what you learned to say. And uh, if not for those who love us, where would we be today? What about the children to ignore it so easy? So many innocent children. Hmm. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, y'all. Welcome, 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 welcome to the mental house. For me, your host, Khadija. You know, I just want to put this out there, and I want to make sure I'm loud and clear. It is a true testament of how a society, what the gauge of the society is, when you see how they treat their elderly and how they treat their children. You know... I hear a lot of people talking about, you know, just like for instance, when you heard that girl, Aoki, talk about her father, or some other kid that exposed some family business that the majority of people, more specifically us, um, consider it a real, real sense of betrayal. I mean, and most people do when you let their secret out. Okay? But silence is consent. And abuse actually thrives in silence. Okay? Abuse thrives not being, not being exposed. You know, when you watch those Lifetime movies, y'all know how y'all how it was. When you see the family, they have to, when the woman is married to a minister and everybody loves him because he's all powerful and all that, and she's sitting in the background playing her position, you know, um, oh, your husband preached a great sermon today, and oh, your kids are so well behaved, and yada, 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 yada. Y'all remember Aretha Franklin's daddy? I mean, that's pretty much the tale of it. Um, people playing two sides, showing you a mask of who they really are. But where I'm going with this is, who speaks for the children? Who speaks for the children? A lot of men, more particularly, get mad because... Women expose and they talk about their abuse. And they talk about it years and years later. But yeah, because when it was happening, they might not have thought it was abuse. They might not have saw it as grooming or abuse. And when they really think about who they are and what they've been through. Or who molested them. Or who told them to keep a secret, a deep, dark secret. All that stuff. Weighs on your soul. So when you want to express yourself. And get that stuff off of you. And out of you. It's more room out than there is honey. And so you can't get mad at people. For expressing that. But what you can do is you can speak up for children. And the reason why I'm saying this. Is because. They don't have a voice. They're, like I've said a million times before, children are hostages in your mad-ass world. We claim that we love our children so much, and oh, we don't want them to get taken away, and oh, this, that, and the other. Oh, you better not mess with my kids. You better not mess with my... And then you have a story as egregious and as crazy as... A mother with five kids hit somebody in her car and happened and had the nerve to get into a, a high-speed chase with the police after the crash. I mean, 
after she did that to try to run away from her responsibility and her accountability. Because that's what I mostly see is wrong. Nobody wants to have a, you know, no, these people are so weak. Nobody wants to take accountability for what they do. You tell them I'm going to get in trouble. You're going to get in trouble anyway. What you running for? You just ran over somebody with your kids in the car. What kind of parent are you? You had to be stopped. Police arrested a woman after she hit a pedestrian, then led officers on a chase with five young children in the vehicle. According to the police, officers witnessed a 24-year-old hit a man near 36th Street in Flores around 10.30 p.m. on Thursday. Her kids should have been in the damn bed. Police chased the vehicle until it crashed into two parked cars and a pole near 35th Street in Silver Spring. Police took the 24-year-old driver into custody and noticed five children in the car. Two boys, six and three years old, and three girls, ages one, nine, and ten. How you think those kids felt? Y'all think they should keep silent about that, especially the 10 and the 9-year-old who almost lost their life because their mother couldn't accept responsibility for her behavior so she wanted to speed through the, and ruin their lives? You see what I mean by them being hostage? And how dare y'all sit up here and talk about how that kind of shit might affect them 20 years from now? Who are you to say? That they should keep silent and, um, you know, we should deal with this in the family. But then you got some family members on everything they wrong. You got some family members who uh, are so narcissistic that because they pay the bills or because they got the money or because they have the power and the prestige, how dare you challenge them? So when you become a young adult and you be like, Ma, you know... I, ever since you put me in that car accident and ran from the police and you could have killed us all, I saw you differently. And um, I didn't like you very much. Let a kid say something like that to their parent and watch how they freak out because they're not willing to accept account accountability nor do they want to hear how their bullshit affects the children. What if they could tell you what they really thought about you? Because they still love you. But y'all want them to love you want, and then keep your secrets and keep being abused and keep letting you run and ride around here like Attila the Hun until you stopped like being exposed or uh, having a car accident. Uh, see, I get it. And somebody got to speak for the kids. Because y'all y'all show ain't doing a good job. You telling them to shut their mouth and keep it in the family. Even though the family is not a bit more interested in solving the issue than, uh, you know, otherwise it wouldn't even be an issue. This lady, this lady, the pedestrian who was hit is a 42-year-old man, and he's hospitalized with very serious injuries. The children are hospitalized, and some of them were treated on the scene. Okay? Some of us are not very good stewards of children. We don't got no business having no children because we think that they don't just come through us then they belong to God. We actually think that they are possession and not a gift. 
And so we start doing all kinds of crazy things. Uh, well, they'll forgive me. You know, matter of fact, you don't even think about their forgiveness. You don't even want, you ain't thinking about that. You like, they better forgive me. Because you mad. Because you mad. Sick of y'all putting these kids' lives in danger and at risk. And then get mad when they want to free themselves from your badass behavior. Oh. Anyway, this is a sad story. And um, <laughs> these kids was in a hostage situation. Yes, they were. They were in a hostage situation. What y'all think? I mean, what you think? If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, share the channel, um, put some feedback on the channel, and um, tell me, answer this for me, please, family. Do you or do you not think that children are in hostage situations? Do you or do you not? I'd like to know. All right, if you like what you hear, subscribe and share the channel. I'll see you in the next video.